but uh, here, Peggy, why don't, I'm going to give you the camera here and why don't you kind of recap the things that you've seen and talked about and we'll move from there on to what we're going to talk about this week. Okay, let's get going. Uh, it's Monday, uh, second class of this four-week uh, session. I'll show you a few samples of mine, then Mark has some great slideshows. We're going to cover eight vocabulary words for light on form. You really want to know the meaning and understanding of them all, but you don't have to use them all. So I'm going to show you some samples here. I got my light plane, my shadow plane. Right from life, these, uh, you know, gap, separating light from shadow is my first thought. These aren't as easy because these figures are moving and but reflected light, shadow core. So I've got a lot of the vocabulary going This is my here. first thought. So whenever I'm out there painting, what do I want to say? What do I want to paint? The next thing I think about is what's my light? Big light plane separated from the big shadow Peggy just plane. threw out a whole lot of what she's calling vocabulary words. Uh, these vocabulary words describe... Yeah, and remember, this is a science. Light is a science. It can be learned. Yeah, look at this simple. Uh, still, you know, I can see all the vocabulary there. I'm going to do my best to make this very simple. And then Peggy can add a little bit of complexity. Now I've covered all eight vocabulary so, words. Okay, now let's look at this negative space here. Inch, okay, that's everything in shadow. I'm going to approach this like I did the blocks. Light's hitting the towel, and it's just pushing reflected light. The gal, it's most obvious. See the gal with the look, pink it shirt? Hits the top of the foot there. It's fair game. Okay, thanks everyone for joining me. I'm sticking around for question and answer, and I'll see you next week. We're going to really talk about value and manipulating and really move more into color.